I am thinking about space. Where I was born was nothing but space, stretched from one end of the earth to the other, unchanged and unchanging, except for a few pinches and folds like wrinkles in a bedsheet. That is where I was a boy and a young man, and I formulated a theory that of all the years in a life, it is these that are most causative as regards breed and stamp. So I am not merely thinking about space, I am feeling space as an absence and a hunger. Here on Brookline Avenue in Boston, Massachusetts, I am caught in terrible traffic. I'm sitting in the seat of a taxi cab and all around us are sleek black machines, shivering in the frigid night. I'm annoyed with myself for having overstayed a party I did not enjoy, and with Bruins coach and general manager Art Ross for no better reason than he sets the schedule. So although he is as blameless as the clock itself, I am annoyed with him. I'm wearing a suit of deepest black, complemented by this long cape, for I had been dining at the home of Xanthus Goodnow, and he had, as per usual, set the tone high. To an ordinary man, my attire would prove unsatisfactory protection against the chill of winter, but where I come from, coldness, frigidity, is King's story. Ross demands that the railway give us the very last sleeper on the train, his averred reason being that, like lepers or convicts, hockey players must be segregated from more genteel folk. On this night, I applaud his choice, because at least I have a chance. Having ascertained from the station master that there are no further trains scheduled for Montreal, Quebec, I demand to use a telephone. Kick me with Boston Airfield. Boston Airfield? This is Eddie Shore, and it's imperative that I charter an airplane. I have to get to Montreal. But, Mr. Shore, no airplanes are flying tonight. Why is that? Because of the storm. <laughs> I see the snow now frenzied, no longer towing and slanting from the heavenly vault. Now it charges head on. I have reasons for needing to be in Montreal. The Bruins record stands at six wins, seven losses, and a pair of ties. Miserable by my reckoning, merely mediocre by the leagues. A victory or two would alter the whole complexity of the campaign. So that is one reason I must be in Montreal. But the best reason has to do with the storm, which will not stop me. Connect me to Xanthus Goodnow, the chief sanitary engineer for the city of Boston. This is Shore. Edward, did you forget something? Yeah, I missed my train. <laughs> Ross shall have your testes with his team. Welcome come back here, then. We're having the grandest fun ever. You have a driver, an automobile and a driver. Yes, tell me where you are. He shall come gather you up. Sometimes there is a darkness that comes upon me, a wordless energy that occupies my brain, and I must act, which is to say, perform some action or be overwhelmed and consumed by it. This is one of those times. Send me your automobile and your driver. I'm going to Montreal. <laughs> There are moments of connection when the way, or a portion of it, is lighted through this dark veil. And this moment, just before the darkness, is one. I see tomorrow's newspaper, Boston beats Montreal one nothing, and a thin smile curls my lips. Bruins general manager Art Ross find Eddie 
sure $500 for missing the train. Another great moment in hockey history.